Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. We're gonna talk about HBO Max, The Snyder Cut, The Flash, and Michael Keaton coming back as Batman. Also, Ryan Reynolds coming back as Green Lantern. What the hell is... What is going on? We better get Steel. That's all I'm asking for. We better get... We better get Steel in the Snyder Cut. Uh, before we get into it, just want to point this out in case you guys missed it. We're no longer with Teespring. We have a new Clownfish TV shop. If you go to shopclownfish.com, uh, right now we just have some shirts and hoodies and cups and there's going to be a whole bunch of other stuff coming. We're working on some pins and plushies and um, hopefully we'll be doing uh, more customized customized merchandise, more stuff than what they could offer at Teespring without having to give uh, Teespring any money. So anyway, that is that. So let's get into uh, HBO Max. And this, this seems to be a trend, doesn't it? HBO Max executive says Zack Snyder's Justice League shows they're listening to fans. They're listening to fans. This is coming from comic book. Dot com. Now, we've been talking about how Jon Favreau is telling Lucasfilm that they need to listen to fans, and then they turn around and release uh, The High Republic, the first chapter of it, and the opening crawl uh, sounds like Space Chaz. I mean, it does. It sounds like we're living in a utopia where everybody is equal, and everybody's voice is equally heard, and we're going to spread our message throughout the galaxy of love and peace and hope uh, equally. And it, it just sounds like a bunch of political bullshit. Um, but they're supposedly HBO Max is listening to fans with the Snyder Cut. We know that the media hates this. We've covered this before. They think that uh, they shouldn't feed the fans. Don't feed the fans. Don't give them the Snyder Cut, even though financially it makes a hell of a lot of sense because fans have been petitioning for this for years. They've been putting their money where their mouths are. They've been uh, taking out billboards and... Uh, They've been flying banners with planes and all kinds of crazy stuff. So clearly people want this. Hope it doesn't suck. Wouldn't that, wouldn't that be a kick in the nuts if, if the Snyder Cut comes out and it's actually worse than the theatrical release? Uh, I don't think that's going to be the case, though. But the HBO Max executive says that they're listening. But I love how comicbook.com starts this article off. For years, a large camp of passionate fans badgered badgered social media accounts related to Justice League and Warner Brothers as a means to push for the release of Zack Snyder's version of the DC Comics ensemble movie. Those The fans won those battles as Snyder revealed earlier this year his Justice League will be coming to HBO Max. Now HBO Max's Sandra Dewey has been probed for details about the release of the alternate version of the film and has confirmed a key detail while also giving credit to Warner Brothers and her HBO Max brand at the same time. Dewey confirms that Snyder's Justice League cut will be released on HBO Max in early 2021, as she stated on Tuesday. While she would not reveal the details of the story or current progress in completing the project, she has one other note following the remarks. Dewey says she and the company are excited to provide content which show they're listening to fans. The origins of the Justice League Snyder Cut include the plan to have the adventure broken up into two films, but those plans were abandoned. They have production of the Justice League movie. We know what happened. Um, you know, Zack Snyder's daughter died uh, during the production. They had Joss Whedon come in, and it was a mess of a movie. But they're talking about listening to fans. This might be the trend for 2020, I hope, going forward, is that more... Uh, more of these these studios start listening to fans because fans will pay them if they do. Now that's the trick. You have to uh, you have to pay the studios if they cave to your wishes. Uh, money talks. You know, if if you're not paying for a movie or paying for a video game or paying uh, for comics that you enjoy or anime that you enjoy you're not giving the studio money, then you're no better off than Twitter, which just endlessly complains about stuff, how things should be, but then they never actually put their money uh, where their mouths are. So, I mean, that's that's really key in this. And also, you know, I want to point out too, just because people ask for something, it doesn't mean that the fandom is always right. Sometimes you have a lot of people who are very vocal about things. You know, I don't think that studios should stop taking chances and just do everything the fans want. Because here's the thing, the fandoms can't even agree on what they want. But listening to 
what a good majority of people are telling you they want is a good first step. You know, not not butchering characters, not butchering franchises uh, to chase Twitter clout is a good first step. You know, there's a lot of knee jerk reaction going on in Hollywood right now where they're very quick to cancel people, cancel shows, uh, you know, because they're afraid of the Twitter outrage mobs. And I think the best thing that could happen, to be honest, is if Twitter uh, just went in a hole and died. Uh, Twitter just freaking died. Get, be done with Twitter. So now this is really interesting. They're bringing an extended edition of the original Tim Story Fantastic Four to HBO Max. I haven't watched the 2015 version of the Fantastic Four, the reboot. It sounded very depressing and very unfun. And people, you know, they tried to say that people didn't go see it because they made Johnny Storm black and all this other stuff. No, that wasn't why uh, I, I had no interest in seeing it. I didn't go see it because it seemed very bleak and very dark for a Fantastic Four movie. Um, the Tim Story's movies were hokey. Uh, they were, but they kind of at least were trying to get the essence of the Fantastic Four down. So far, the only studio that has managed to get the fantastic four right is pixar with the incredibles uh you know i would like to see i would like to see a better version of the fantastic four come to the mcu which i think will happen but the what i'm hearing it sounds like they're gonna ruin that too but uh yeah we're getting an extended edition of of the fantastic four for some reason now this this is really interesting uh, this popped up too in relation to DC and uh, you know everything going on with the DCEU now. The rumor that Michael Keaton is going to come back in the Ezra Miller Flash movie as Batman. I, I don't even understand. I think they're talking about doing a Flashpoint in this movie where we're going to have multiple versions of the, the, the DC universe and, and somehow they're going to cross over with Batman. Uh, I don't know. I think the only reason this rumor is, is floating, supposedly he's in talks and that he's actually going to appear in the DCEU. The, the only reason I can see that they would do this to bring Michael Keaton back as much as I would love to see Michael Keaton come back, maybe for a, a live action dark Knight returns is because Ezra Miller can't carry this movie himself especially with all the bullshit going on right now uh, around his drama, the drama with him, you know, supposedly uh, choking a fan in Iceland. Um, I, he can't, people aren't going to come to a flash movie with, with just Ezra Miller. I mean, he's, he's damaged goods at this point. Um, and apparently uh, Grace Randolph was talking about this, that uh, she's hearing that Ezra Miller might even be out completely, this is just kind of like throwing spaghetti against the wall. Like, let's do a Flash movie, but let's not use Ezra Miller and let's bring Michael Keaton back as Batman for some reason. So I have no idea. So who the hell knows? But now, you know, speaking of wacky rumors regarding the DCEU, now there's a rumor out there that Ryan Reynolds could could make a cameo as the Green Lantern in the Snyder Cut. Now, I, I don't think Ryan Reynolds would be a bad Green Lantern if he was in a better movie. Um, the movie was kind of dog shit, right? But I, I mean, I think if they, I mean, I like Ryan Reynolds. He's, he's a bit jokey for Hal, Hal Jordan though. Right. Um, but I mean, I could see him in a better movie, but yeah, they're, they're talking that, uh, well, this is coming from Grace Randolph again. So I don't know where she's getting her information from, but she said that, that she heard from two sources. Reynolds is in negotiation to cameo in the justice league as sector 2814's Emerald guardian. Uh, so I don't know. I don't know if that's going to happen or not. Does that mean that the, the, the dog shit Green Lantern movie is officially part of the DCEU at that point? Or is it just another like, uh, uh alternate universe Green Lantern? Have no freaking idea. Uh, but talking about HBO Max again, uh, you know, this is, this is interesting that they're taking on Netflix with human curation instead of solely relying on algorithms. So it's more like Spotify right now. What they got to worry about is is getting this app on Amazon and Roku. We've got four TVs in our house, and two of them are Roku and two of them are Amazon. The only way we can watch HBO Max is if we watch it through our PS4. You know, that's the only way we can watch it on TV. So that's that's like a huge like I don't care how the content's curated. I just care about being able to watch it uh, on our TV and not have to use apps or whatever. I mean, I watch stuff here and there on my iPad when I'm working out. Um, but uh, yeah, they really got to get that app 
on the platform. They said that they're they're going to have human curators, though, so it's not just like random like Netflix. But that could that could uh, go badly too, because you could have have curators, human curators, who are particularly biased toward certain shows or certain movies, and they keep recommending that to people too over uh, over other stuff. You know, right now I don't think that the, the amount of content is overwhelming, and I do like how they have the little um, subsections. Like you got your Crunchyroll section, your Ghibli section, and your Turner Classic Movie section. Uh, I think that's that's a good way to go. But um, yeah, right now they just got to worry about getting it on apps because it's not going to matter even when they drop the Snyder Cut if they can't get the numbers up and people aren't watching it on you know their TV sets. It doesn't matter what happens when the Snyder Cut finally comes out because, you know, the numbers aren't there. I, I don't know. So we'll see what happens. But I'm going to wrap this one up. Uh, very interesting, very interesting uh, turn of events here that it does seem like more studios are starting to listen to the fans. Uh, I guess they want money. I guess maybe it seems like coronavirus put a little bit of a pinch on the wallets of these studios and now god forbid they have to come crawling back to fans on their hands and knees for money so uh you know fans you are in the the power position at this point you're in the catbird seat uh you're gonna be able to dictate what kind of content these studios make uh at least for the short term at least until they they rebuild their businesses uh, because they, they got to get money. They, they need money. They need your money. So only give money to things that uh, you support, that you want to see. Make sure they know that's this is the kind of entertainment that you want. Uh, don't buy stuff you don't want because it sends the wrong message. Even if you want to hate view things, even if you want to hate read something, uh, if you give them money, that their takeaway is going to be, you must like this because look at the sales. Look at the sales. Look at all the people who bought The Last of Us Part 2 uh, just to hate play it you know all right so i'm gonna wrap it up please subscribe for more pop culture news views and rants and we'll talk to you guys later hey guys thanks for watching clownfish tv please consider supporting the channel go to clownfishsupport.com that's clownfishsupport.com and if you want to join our community go to clownfishtalk.com that's clownfishtalk.com please subscribe ring the bell for notifications we will talk to you next time